anything happens to me, I'd appreciate you looking after Allie. You expecting something special? What other are you afraid? The feelings get you killed. Looks like you made your first mistake, Cole. You afraid to die? I ain't afraid. Good, because you go first. Do you feel the empower, the empowerment of carrying around an 8-gauge shotgun? It's a pretty impressive <laughs> weapon. It was mostly, at first, an obstacle. You know, it's like it's very heavy. You know, I want it to be realistic, too. It's a bit of far-fetched, really. Uh, so I had to think, well, why would he have an 8-gauge shotgun, which you're not going to be able to hit something very accurately. You can only fire it if you brace yourself really well. It's not the most practical weapon, but what it does have, just like these above average sized horses that we ride into town on there's a psychological weight to it uh, uh, impact you know so you see that gun being fired you hear that gun being fired that early in the movie and after that you really don't even need to see it being shot again just mm -hmm. the fact that i'm walking around with it you know mm -hmm. where i might use it that's enough yeah. as an intimidation you know Absolutely. and uh, you know, I got, at first I was thinking, oh, God, do I have to carry this all the time, or should I, or shouldn't I? And then I started thinking about it, and I said to Ed, you know, I think I should basically always have it with me. It should always be there. If I'm indoors, I'm in bed, I'm having breakfast, it's always right there. And it's like another character, you know. Yeah. And it worked. You know, I think it's kind of a, the signature uh, detail of, of my character in a way. As an accomplished horseman, do you, do you, is it, can you ever bring your own horse on a set, or are you just adjusting to a new horse, or is it, just, is it the man that's the rider, or not? Or is it well, horse? in the case of, a, you know, you're telling a movie story, you ought to not just be comfortable, but you, it should suit the character. You know, this is quite a different horse than other ones I've ridden in movies before, whether it be Lord of the Rings or Hidalgo or Young Guns 2 or whatever. And, uh, and it was appropriate, you know, it was a much bigger uh, sort of muscle-bound horse than I normally, have, or than I've ridden before, but it worked, it was perfect for that character, just like Ed's sort of very tall horse was right for that character. You know, you don't generally bring your, unless you're Roy Rogers or John <laughs> Wayne, you can tell him what you want to do, I suppose. But I don't, I don't think, to some degree, I don't think you should be too comfortable when you're I mean, you should find a way to relax when you play the character, but as far as to begin with, I like to be challenged and to challenge myself. So if something's difficult, like that shotgun, or this big horse that I didn't know very well, then you, in figuring out how to maneuver it, even if you're cursing sometimes as you're getting used to the idea of these props or these animals or this hat, by going through the process of finding a way to deal with it, you've become closer to that character. It's yeah. just part of the learning process. Love the film. Thank you.